the soon-to-be Kingdom of Sweden was a region as yet unnamed, a province filled with adventures and challenges, with struggles and dangers, in an era of legends and myths, a province that would become Ostrobothnia. This is the story of Gudmund, son of Jacob, in the parish of Nerpes in the year 1424. He is an accomplished hunter and fisherman. The seal hunting expeditions in late winter are his favourites. One day in early March, a group of ten men departs. They share a boat between them. They quickly chance upon the first seal. The hunt is on, and it's successful. They manage to hunt a lot of seals in only a few days. The weather is fine, and they have plenty of food. But suddenly, three days into the expedition, clouds start to gather. A storm is upon them. Gudmund is out on the ice on guard duty with two others as snow starts pelting down and the wind begins to sting their faces. They lose track of the boat. They can feel the ice moving. Gudmund is terrified. Suddenly there is a horrible rumbling as the ice breaks underneath them. They cling to an ice floe alone and exposed. Darkness falls. Gudmund and the two others, Johan and Olaf, take turns to stay awake and keep each other warm. When morning arrives, Gudmund spots one of their friends, Björn, clinging to another ice floe. He looks exhausted, but is still clutching his harpoon. Mustering the last of his strength, Björn manages to cross over to them, but after a while, he succumbs to the cold. He stops breathing. The sea becomes his grave. Johan despairs. Alas, woe is upon us! This sea will be our burial ground, and nothing do we know of our salvation. It feels like all hope is gone. But Gudmund remembers something. There is an icon in Stockholm, in the Dominican monastery, a holy image of our Saviour being taken down from the cross. Gudmund has visited Stockholm many times. He's heard the image spoken of. It's helped many who've fallen into the sea or been shipwrecked. Its holy power is strong enough to help you even if you are no longer able to speak. Merely thinking of the image is enough. The men promise each other that they will make a pilgrimage to the monastery if their lives are spared. They will sacrifice a waxen figurine as thanks. Thinking of the Holy Cross, they feel better already. Day turns to night and night turns to day twice over. The men are now completely exhausted and their provisions long gone. But then the unbelievable happens. A faint line on the horizon. It has to be land. The westerly wind pushes them forward and on the eighth day they reach land. Utterly exhausted, they walk up to a homestead where they are met by friendly people. They realize they've drifted far south, at least 150 kilometers. Having rested a couple of days, they start off on their long trek home along the coastal pathways. In Nerpes, their families wait, devastated. Four of the men have returned home, but the rest have been gone several weeks. The families fear the worst.
But sorrow turns to joy on a sunny spring day as three tired but happy wanderers finally arrive in the village. Gudmund, Johan and Olaf remember their promise. They will make a pilgrimage to Stockholm as soon as summer arrives. The holy image has saved their lives. One Monday in May in the year 1424, they arrive in Stockholm at the Monastery of the Dominican Order and kneel before the holy sculpture. The collection of miracles, which includes the story of Gudmund, was recorded in the 1420s in Latin by a monk called Gregorius. Today, the collection can be found in the diocese library in Linköping. The holy image was a gilded sculpture called Helga Lösen. It depicted Christ being taken down off the cross. It was widely known in medieval Scandinavia for its miraculous powers. The image was most likely destroyed as the Reformation set in, at the same time as the Dominican monastery was destroyed. In 2016, remnants of the church were found. It was located partly beneath what today is the Storschirko School in the old town of Stockholm. The cellar of the monastery has been preserved and is now open to visitors.